was a little bit nervous, but he's a veteran guy. I don't know how many times Anthony's fouled out in his career, one or two, one or two maybe. And maybe it was a desperation foul late to do it. He's, he's a pretty smart player. Almost picked up his charge in the right before half, and we talked about that. They came and tried to get underneath him, but um, I thought he really played well. I think he ended up with three fouls uh, total, so I got confidence in him. And then we played some zone, too. Mark, uh, Makai didn't play in the first half, and then he had that stretch in the second. I think it was 10.6 boards in six minutes there in the yeah. second stretch. Uh, how impressive and important was that for you to be able to get that sort of sequence out of him? And uh, were you close to having him in it? Um, no, it was, it was great to see because we need low post scoring, we need low post physicality. And we, we don't have a lot of it unless the Twins are given to us. Dante gives it to us a little bit of Ricky at times. So um, that was that was big uh, for him. But um, yeah, they gave me the tire signal. I wouldn't have taken him out, but he wanted to come out because he was playing so well. And um, which is smart on his part to do that because he knows if he messes up defensively, he'll, he'll come out. But you know his defense was really good down there, and his rebounding, blocking shots, and then you know doubling the post. He did a lot of. Did a lot of mature things. You really grew up tonight. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win, and you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing, and you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 or on the web at cagfederal.com. Uh, going off that, is, is there still a level of unpredictability as far as whether it's going to be Mackay or Mikel who's playing well, or, or maybe even just further down your bench, just outside the court, who's going to be good on court? Yeah, you, you remember how inconsistent some of my young guys could be last year, right? Yeah, and, and I thought Mikel and Mackay were good tonight. Uh, I might already said this, I took Ricky out, and he had really good minutes just because I wanted to play sticks at the four so. So I go, Ricky, you didn't do anything wrong. As a matter of fact, you played great, but I want to get sticks in here and play a little bit before. Um, so that's just where we are. The guys said they want to be selfless. That's our number one thing. Then it's going to be that way. So um, the great thing for me is if a guy's not playing well, I can put somebody else in. And we can usually figure out at some point pretty good six, seven, eight guys that are playing well. And uh, that's a good feeling. You know, instead of just not looking down, not having anybody, and having to keep playing those guys and playing through a lot of mistakes. So um, it's going to make us a better team. But then, you know, tying it up with that three and then getting the end one, um, you know, how crucial is that to, you know, getting the half the way you guys did and, you know, just giving energy to the team? Yeah, I think it was a 19-2 to run, if I can read this right. Um, and uh, it was more about guys just locking in and playing at a high level. Even if we wouldn't have gone on 19-2 run, I just felt better about us. Just because the guys were locked in, they weren't making mistakes. Um, and and then we really executed the end of the half. But those were big. His three, I think it was off an offensive rebound. His three, and then you know we, we were able to spread them out. We changed our offense a little bit right before half. We were able to spread them out. And the guys were making good decisions. Mark, you talked about the slow start, but do you think do you think that you have enough depth and maybe maturity in this team to overcome something like that? Yeah. Maybe not on a regular basis, but certainly against most teams. Yeah. Well, you know how seasons go. Because one of these games, we're going to start well and then maybe not finish well. And then you got to go, oh, you're not finishing. So, you know, we talked about halftime. Let's play, let's play a 20-minute half. I'm not sure we did because we let our offense get away or our defense at the start of the second half. We missed, you know, wide open three, a layup, and a you know, silly foul. And, had a couple dumb turnovers, but uh, we're getting closer to that. So, um, yeah, but our depth, 
our depth is big. We're going to run into teams that have depth too. You know, um, play nine guys, ten guys, t nine or ten quality, nine guys that are quality players. So uh, a closer to forty minute game is going to help us. You know, tonight was twenty eight, closer to yeah, you know, or twenty six, whatever you want to say. But closer to forty is going to make us a better team. Mark, uh, as we mentioned, the line of 30, you know, yeah. and I know that's a pretty high number, but the, uh, the shooting percentage from the line is also a bit yeah. tonight. What does that say about this team to be able to take something that they didn't do so well last game and improve in it in less than a week's yeah. time? And are you putting an extra emphasis on that? Yeah, practice? we are. It's not a little bit improved. 56 to, to 78, yeah. and I would have taken that now, right? Um, so uh, that was a big improvement. Now we're working on it, and I, you know, after the last game, I just told the guys, step up and make, make a free throw. Well, it's not that hard. You've been doing it your whole life. Step up and make them. And Makai was probably the biggest. You know, he made his first six, and then it was two for six in his last six. But um, that was big for us, him making them. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. Last year we were about 76 from the line in league play, somewhere around there. You know, hopefully when the league comes around, we're shooting at a high level. And Coach, it seemed that during that 19 2 run, the offensive aggressiveness really increased. What, what do you attribute that to? Well, we just spaced them a little bit, changed our offense a little bit. Guys made better decisions. We were holding the ball too long. They were staying with the ball screen, and the guys just kept trying to dribble. And no matter how many times you told them the timeout to get rid of it quick or what to look for, finally they started doing it. and. That was really the difference. We were able to get, you know, Eric made a big play, uh, getting all the way to the rim. That kind of got us going. And the guys just made good decisions. Like, Dix made a 15 footer. Then the next time he shot fakes, he goes in and gets a three point play. He didn't settle for another jump shot. So they started making better decisions. And that's a big part of offense, is, is making good decisions. And uh, we're getting better with it. Uh, Coach, how, sticking with uh, Jameis, you know, how do you uh, do you like the way that you guys have been able to get him involved? He seems to be able to get 12 points in his sleep. Do you like the way uh -huh. he gets involved? In I don't know what he had tonight. Um, what was it? 12 and 10. Yeah, I, I'd like for him to be a little more involved. I, I think Jalen's frustrated a little bit because he can make threes. He's a really good shooter. And uh, he made a jump shot at, you know, tonight from 15. I made a big deal out of it at halftime uh, for him. Everybody laughed and smiled. So. Um, Jalen's a heck of a player, and we just wanted to be more consistent on the defensive end. But I, I think as time goes on, we, we can get into a – I don't know if we'll ever have a normal routine with who's playing or not playing, but just how we're playing and how we're using them. Because right now he's playing a lot at the five because of who we're playing. But when we get in the league play, he's back up a little bit more at the four. So we're preparing for both. You know, we might not show what we're doing. Thought we might show down the road, but um, that's a lot on his plate. But yeah, he's he's a double double guy. And uh, but I, tonight I wish he would have been a little bit more involved. To be quite honest with you, uh, Mark. Uh, in terms of the freshmen, it just seemed like all of them were pretty much engaged. How encouraging was that uh, when you have that kind of you know when you have guys like that uh, step up you know, and just yeah. play as hard as they did? Yeah, I think King gets better every game. Defensively, a little bit, a little bit tougher. Um, missed a couple threes that he's going to make. He made one. I think he was one for four. Didn't didn't love the last one. It was almost from half court, um, but he can make that. Um, so I thought his defense was better. I thought Dante was Dante. Dante listens to everything you say. So like number eleven for them, Miller, shot fakes, extra pivots, really tough guard. Couldn't do it on Dante. Dante chested him. I don't know if you remember the play. Just you were sitting on his coach, man. The guy, so those guys are fun to coach. And then I just the twins are getting a little bit more consistent, which which helps. But gives us great depth, you know, and great length and great size and hopefully great toughness. Only because the guys from Baltimore, the guy who made the half court shot. Um, Was he? Yeah. And and he told me he said that he has some eligibility left that he has to get in your three point shoot. That's awesome. I don't know what he wanted, but that's really cool. Um, it's not, that's when I, I just broke my clipboard in the timeout, and the crowd's going, God, like, damn, man, they let me break in the clipboard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.